Imagine a world without cars. Difficult, isn't it? Thanks to one man, Henry Ford, we don't have to. His revolutionary ideas transform the way we live, work, and play. This innovator, this titan of industry, changed not only the way we travel, but also fundamentally altered the course of manufacturing and industry. Today, we are embarking on a journey to explore the life, the innovations, and the enduring legacy of Henry Ford. We'll delve into his early life, his fascination with machines, and his first foray into the automotive world. We will explore the creation of the Ford Motor Company, the groundbreaking Model T, and the assembly line that revolutionized mass production. We will also shine a light on Fordism and the far-reaching impact of Ford's ideas on the world. Stay tuned as we dive into the fascinating life and revolutionary ideas of Henry Ford. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to join us on this remarkable journey. Born on a farm in Michigan in 1863, Henry Ford's story begins in the most unlikely of places. Growing up in Greenfield Township, Michigan, Henry Ford was the eldest of six children. His parents, William and Mary Ford, were hardworking farmers, a lifestyle that deeply shaped young Henry's character. But even amid the daily chores and responsibilities, Henry found an escape in the world of machines. While his formal education was limited, Henry's curiosity was boundless. He attended a one-room school in his rural community until the age of 15, but it was outside the classroom where his real education took place. He was constantly tinkering, taking apart and reassembling everything from watches to farm machinery, driven by an insatiable curiosity to understand how things worked. When he was just 13 years old, Henry encountered a steam-driven land vehicle, a road locomotive. This chance encounter ignited a fascination with machines that would define the rest of his life. It was a spark that lit a fire in his mind, a dream that one day he could build a horseless carriage. At 16, Henry left the farm to pursue his passion for machinery, landing a job as an apprentice machinist in Detroit. Over the next few years, he would balance his time between this urban job and helping on his family's farm, a dual life that gave him a unique perspective on the possibilities of mechanization. His fascination with machines was not just about understanding their workings. Henry saw them as the key to a new world, a world where hard, manual labor could be minimized and productivity could be maximized. He envisioned machines not just as tools, but as catalysts of change. The early years of Henry Ford were a testament to his relentless curiosity and his visionary thinking. His humble beginnings and his fascination with machines planted the seeds of innovation that would eventually revolutionize the automotive industry and change the world. Even as a young farm boy, Ford's fascination with machines foretold his extraordinary future. From a young age, machines enthralled Ford. He didn't just want to use them, he wanted to understand them. Henry Ford's fascination with machinery began in his childhood. Growing up on a farm in rural Michigan, Ford was surrounded by manual labor. But it was the arrival of a steam-driven land threshing machine that sparked his interest. For the young Ford, the machine was a marvel. It was complex, powerful, and it made hard work easier. The machine was a symbol of what was possible. Ford, however, wasn't content with just marveling. He wanted to understand how this machine worked. So he took it apart piece by piece, studying each component, learning how they fit together. And when he put it back together, he did so with an understanding not just of the machine's parts, but of its whole. This self-taught mechanical wisdom became the foundation of Ford's approach to machinery. He believed that to truly master a machine, you had to understand it from the inside out. And it wasn't long before Ford applied this principle to his own creations. His first self-propelled vehicle, the Ford Quadricycle, was a testament to this. Built in a small shed at the back of his home, the quadricycle was a simple machine, but it was a machine that Ford understood completely. He knew every bolt, every gear, every wire. He knew how they fitted together, how they worked in unison to create movement. It was this intimate understanding of machinery that enabled Ford to create a vehicle that was both practical and affordable. Ford's fascination with machines was not just about understanding them, it was about improving them. He saw machines as tools that could change the world, that could make life easier, work more efficient, and dreams more attainable. With an insatiable curiosity and an innovative spirit, Ford was destined to create something remarkable. His fascination with machines was more than just a personal interest. It was a driving force that would lead him to revolutionize the world of transportation and industry. In 1896, Ford unveiled his first creation, the quadricycle. Picture this, a carriage, but without horses, and instead propelled by a gasoline engine. That crude yet revolutionary concept was the essence of Henry Ford's first automobile, 
the quadricycle. Its name itself reveals a lot about the vehicle. It had four bicycle tires and was run by a simple two-cylinder engine. The quadricycle was not a sophisticated machine by any stretch of the imagination. It lacked a steering wheel. A tiller did the job. There were no brakes, and it was essentially devoid of most comforts we associate with modern cars. But this machine, raw and rudimentary, was the seed that would grow into the giant tree that is the Ford Motor Company. The quadricycle was a rudimentary concoction of metal, rubber, and sheer innovation. Its engine, a two-cylinder, four-horsepower beast, was a testament to Ford's mechanical genius. This machine, as basic as it was, could reach a top speed of 20 miles per hour, a remarkable feat for the time. The reception of the quadricycle was, understandably, mixed. Some viewed it as a noisy, smoke-belching nuisance, while others saw it for what it truly was, a glimpse into the future of transportation. Despite the skepticism, the quadricycle spurred interest and investment, paving the way for Ford to establish the Detroit Automobile Company in 1899. However, the company didn't meet Ford's standards and expectations, leading to its dissolution. But as they say, failure is the stepping stone to success. This setback only fueled Ford's determination to produce an affordable, efficient, and reliable automobile for the masses. The quadricycle, in all its unrefined glory, was the stepping stone that laid the foundation for Ford's automotive empire. It was a testament to Ford's vision and his unwavering belief in the potential of the automobile. The quadricycle was just the beginning. Ford had much more in store for the world. In 1908, Ford introduced the Model T, a car that changed the world. This wasn't just any vehicle. The Model T was a beacon of ingenuity, a testament to Henry Ford's vision of practicality and affordability. Its design was simple yet effective, featuring interchangeable parts that made repairs and maintenance a breeze. But what truly set the Model T apart was its affordability. Ford's dream was to build a car for the great multitude, and with the Model T, he did just that. Priced at a fraction of what other automobiles cost, it was a car that the average American family could afford. Suddenly, the luxury of owning a car was within reach for many, and the world was on the brink of a transportation revolution. And then came the assembly line. Introduced in 1913, it was a game changer, a marvel of efficiency that revolutionized manufacturing. Picture this. Instead of workers moving from car to car, the cars moved to them. Each worker had a specific task, adding a part to the car as it moved along the line. This process of division of labor was nothing short of revolutionary. The assembly line drastically reduced the time it took to build a car. Before, it took over 12 hours to assemble a single Model T. With the assembly line, that time was slashed to just two and a half hours. This rapid production meant more cars, faster, and at a lower cost. The introduction of the assembly line wasn't just about speed, though. It was about standardization. Every Model T that rolled off the line was identical ensuring a consistent level of quality and reliability. This concept of mass production was groundbreaking, setting a precedent that industries around the world would soon follow. The Model T and the assembly line were revolutionary, but Ford didn't stop there. He continued to innovate, to push boundaries, to redefine what was possible in the world of manufacturing and beyond. This was just the beginning of Ford's legacy, a legacy that continues to shape the world we live in today. Fordism, a term coined to describe Ford's unique approach to mass production, transformed the industrial world. At the heart of this revolution were three key principles, mass production, standardization, and the $5 workday. Together, they form the bedrock of what we now know as the modern industrial era, and they all originated from the mind of one man, Henry Ford. Mass production was the first cornerstone of Fordism. Before Ford, goods were typically handcrafted, a process that was time-consuming and expensive. Ford turned this concept on its head, introducing assembly lines that allowed for the rapid, efficient production of goods. He believed that by producing more, costs could be brought down, making products more affordable and thus accessible to the masses. It was a radical idea, but one that would change the face of industry forever. The second pillar of Fordism was standardization. Ford understood that consistency was key to efficiency. He introduced standardized parts, interchangeable and identical, that could be used in any Model T. This not only sped up production but also simplified repairs. If a part broke down, it could easily be replaced with an identical one. This principle of standardization streamlined production, reduced waste, and ultimately led to a more reliable product. The third and perhaps most revolutionary aspect of Fordism was the $5 workday. This was double the going wage at the time, a bold move that shocked the industry. But Ford understood that well-paid workers were more productive, more loyal, 
and crucially more likely to become consumers of the products they were making. This policy not only improved the lives of Ford's employees, but also helped create a new class of consumers, fueling the growth of the American economy. Fordism wasn't just about cars, it was about shaping a new industrial age. It was a blueprint for modern manufacturing, a system that prioritized efficiency, affordability, and worker welfare. And it all started with Henry Ford, a man with a vision not just to build cars, but to build a better world. Ford's ideas didn't just revolutionize the automotive industry, they changed the world. Let's talk about this. Everything you see around you today, from the hustle and bustle of city life to the quiet corners of rural landscapes, has been touched in some way by Henry Ford's innovations. His assembly line method of production, the standardized Model T, and the concept of Fordism, all these have left a lasting impact on our economy, society, and environment. Economically, Ford's innovations gave birth to an era of mass production and consumption, fostering a new wave of industrial growth. They created jobs, reduced production costs, and made products more affordable. Ford's assembly line allowed the common man to own a car, transforming it from a luxury item into a necessity. This democratization of the automobile spurred economic growth and mobility on an unprecedented scale. Societally, Ford's ideas reshaped our everyday life. The widespread use of automobiles led to the development of suburbs, altered our leisure activities, and revolutionized our concept of freedom and independence. It changed the way we work, the way we play, and the way we live. Ford's vision of a car for every household transformed the American dream, making it more accessible and achievable. Environmentally, Ford's innovations brought about a paradigm shift. While they undoubtedly contributed to the environmental challenges we face today, they also spurred a new era of technological advancements aimed at addressing these issues. From electric cars to sustainable manufacturing practices, the automotive industry is constantly evolving, inspired by Ford's legacy of innovation. The ripple effects of Ford's ideas continue to reverberate through time, influencing the course of history and shaping the future. His vision of making the impossible possible, of changing the way we live, work, and play, has transcended the boundaries of the automotive world and seeped into every facet of our lives. Ford's legacy is far-reaching and profound. His revolutionary ideas continue to shape our world. And it's safe to say, we wouldn't be where we are today without them. From a farm in Michigan to the forefront of industrial innovation, Henry Ford's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. As we've explored in this video, Ford's early life on a humble farm, his fascination with machines, and his relentless drive to invent set the stage for a revolution that would change the world. We delved into his first venture, into automotive design, a pursuit that would eventually lead to the establishment of the Ford Motor Company. The birth of the Model T and the introduction of the assembly line marked a turning point not only in Ford's career, but in the history of manufacturing as well. Ford's vision of mass production and standardization was not just about making cars. It was an idea that transcended the boundaries of the automobile industry. It was about making quality products accessible to everyone, about increasing efficiency, and about elevating the standard of living. This concept, which later came to be known as Fordism, was a radical departure from traditional manufacturing methods. It was a blueprint for the modern industrial world, influencing industries far beyond automotive manufacturing. It was a testament to Ford's foresight and ingenuity, and a demonstration of the transformative power of innovation. Henry Ford's legacy is not just in the cars we drive, but in the way we live, work, and think about progress. His ideas continue to resonate today, a testament to their timeless relevance and universal appeal. As we conclude this exploration of Henry Ford's life and contributions, let's take a moment to appreciate the impact of his ideas. They remind us that innovation is not just about creating something new, but about challenging the status quo, about daring to think differently, and about having the courage to turn those ideas into reality. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Henry Ford's life and ideas. If you enjoyed the ride, hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating explorations into the lives of remarkable people.